Hi, do you know why a pencil hurts at the pointed end, but not at the other end, even though you're applying the same force? Why do bags with thin straps hurt our hand, but bags with thick straps are more comfortable, even though both the bags contain the same things? The answer lies in the concept of force and pressure. Are force and pressure the same thing? No. Let's understand the difference between the two. Force is simply a push or a pull on an object. Force is a physical quantity and its SI unit is Newton. The abbreviation is capital N. Now what instrument is used to measure force? That's right, a spring balance. As you can see here, the weight or the force with which this bag is pulling the spring balance is 7 Newton. Now let's talk about pressure. We keep hearing about pressure in our daily lives like exam pressure, study pressure or work pressure. But that is the pressure in our minds. It's imagined. In physics, pressure is produced when a force is applied on an object. Pressure depends on two factors, the force applied and the area of contact. The pressure formula is pressure P is force divided by the area of contact, which you can learn as P equals F by A. As you can see from the formula, greater the force, obviously the pressure will be more. Area of contact is in the denominator. So if area of contact is larger, the pressure will be less. Now do you know what is the SI unit of pressure? SI unit of force is Newton and SI unit of area is meter square. So from the pressure formula you can see the SI unit of pressure is going to be Newton per meter square. This is also known as Pascal or written as PA in short. So the SI unit of pressure is Pascal. Now let's say there's a force of 100 Newton and the area is 5 meters square. So what will be the pressure? The pressure formula is force by area. So that's 100 Newton divided by 5 meters square. So the pressure is going to be 100 by 5, which is 20 Pascal. We have learned that pressure is force divided by area. But one important thing to note is that the strict definition of pressure is thrust divided by area. Now, what's the difference between force and thrust? Thrust is a perpendicular force. When the force is applied at a 90 degree angle, then we call it thrust. So remember, pressure is thrust by area or the perpendicular force divided by the area. Now you can see why the sharp end of the pencil hurts, ouch, compared to the other end, even though I'm applying the same force. The area of this end, the thick end, is 100 times more than the area of the sharp end. So the pressure at the sharp end is going to be 100 times more than the pressure at this thick end. That's exactly why it hurts more here. So remember, pressure is inversely proportional to the area. As the area of contact is less, pressure is going to be more. Similarly, the pressure due to this bag with the thin straps is much more compared to the bag with the thick straps. Let's say the area of these thick straps are 10 times more compared to these thin straps. So the pressure will be 10 times less. And that is why this bag is so comfortable to hold. And this one is hurting my hand because the pressure here is 10 times more. Now, if I take this Harry Potter book and place it on the table like this, in which case do you think it is exerting more pressure on the table? If I place it like this or if I place it like this, where do you think the pressure is more? That's right. Here the pressure is more since the surface area is less. But when you keep the book like this, the area of contact is more so the pressure is going to be less. In summary, here are the differences between force and pressure. 
force is a push or a pull but pressure is force or thrust divided by the area remember that the si unit of force is newton and the si unit of pressure is pascal so hope the concept of force and pressure is crystal clear to you now